Yeah. Down to earth scientists are rare to find. Yeah. I think that's, you know, you, you actually brought this up in one of the previous podcasts about why do scientists, why are they so bad at, at presenting? What do you think that is? It's kind of like what you were getting off with the intelligence versus like uh, dark, dark thoughts. I think that, I don't think that's exactly this mechanism, but I think like intelligence comes with a very awkward, um, usually comes with a very awkward like state of social interaction parameters or something. Mm-hmm. Why that is, I have no idea. It, it, it's a selection bias, right? If you are a scientist, you probably are of a certain demographic that is, um, I would say awkward. Yeah. It's one of the words, but yeah, they, they don't care for presentation. It just, the facts are there. You like it or not. Yeah. How, how, what, like, why the hell do I have to talk about this? Like, don't you understand what I'm doing? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like rush hour, right? It's like what? Rush hour. Yeah. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's just, that, that's the whole, yeah. Every single time you flip a page. Yeah. They're just saying, you just, just read it. the words that are coming out of my, my mouth. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's Carl Sagan doing that. <laughs> Do you understand? You understand? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's, I think, okay, so I'm one of those, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I'm one of those scientists that is not socially awkward. Yeah, I think you present well, yeah. Even if I didn't do great on that, I could still talk to people. Like, like, nor, like I could go around and talk to anybody, anyone in this office right now. Yeah. And I feel like that's, I think Carl Sagan was a little bit like that. And I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is like that. Yeah. Like, he's very engaging. If you see him on, like, a panel, he's always loud and he's always like almost to the point where he's over talking a little bit sometimes very trumpish a little yeah. bit sometimes like during the trump debates very like loud uh, very boisterous yeah yeah but that's great because like we need more scientists like that in my opinion yeah that, that's what i think it's like charisma is is not um for i think a lot of charisma and i don't know about like comedians review about this but i think charisma can be taught or learned right like a lot of comedians they hate going on stage but they do it and they get better mm. and better and better interesting um, I think a lot of comedians are very intelligent, and I think that's. The, I think we're. I think we're seeing the same thing. But it's a skill set they try to get better at because they have to. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But scientists also should think it's a Correct. have to. It's like a must have to for science to be even better. Yeah, and so there's a lot. And there's a lot of other things that come with the intelligence in scientists too. Is that a lot of science? A lot of scientists um, are also. With, with that social awkwardness, they're also have very bad people skills. Like you'll probably heard this from PhD students. Like a lot of their, a lot of PIs that the PhD, um, that they're terrible at, at, at that. They're great at writing papers and grants, but they're terrible at people. And I think a lot of the reasons why science is esoteric to the population is not because it's hard to understand. It's because you haven't been given the right window into the world because most scientists are fucking terrible at, at either presenting or they have really bad people skills. And I'm not like sticking up for them, but it's part of the brain architecture of a scientist. Like that's more the norm than the, you Right, know. the distribution, yeah, the distribution given that you are a scientist is already going to be skewed towards poor, yeah. you know, people skills. And I think that's what drives, like what happened with COVID, right? Mm-hmm. Like the reason why so many people were anti-vaxxers and all this stuff is because scientists... They almost like that, like, yeah, I'm esoteric. Um, this is my white ivory. This is my ivory tower. This is my, like, there's almost like this, like, seclusionary, like, almost like the Mages Guild in, like, Skyrim or something, right? They're, like, locked away in, like, their... Yeah, it, it goes both ways, right? Where the the way people view scientists are, you know, like, like they're looking up. And then the scientists themselves look like they're looking down. Yeah. When we're fucking equal, we're just... Just trying to figure this out together. Yeah. Yeah. We're all in the, we, we all are good at different things. Right. And I think scientists do a very poor job at science communication. That's another part of it, right? Science communication, uh, presenting to other scientists and being uh, having people skills and running a lab and all these things. A lot of scientists are very poor at all of those things. And I think um, what people miss, and this is scratching a niche for me, is that you know I, I think one of the main roles of, of a scientist in, in, in addition to doing science is science communication and a lot of us do a really bad job of, job of that and this is like a way for me to do that this podcast because i used to i used to do i used to write like a column in a local newspaper mm-hmm. and i used to do volunteer like teaching and i haven't done that in years and this is a way for me to kind of do a little bit i mean it's very it's obviously very different we're kind of like jokey and we're like yeah we're but, yeah we're we're just riffing and yeah this is more um but for me, uh, it's been good for me, like just kind of working on just recording and, and hearing your own thoughts appear on audio, right? Because I'm not 
thoroughly thinking about what I'm trying to say. Yeah. We're just spitting spitballing for the most part. And it's like a skill set that I think people, I, I, it's a skill set that you can work on and it's a skill set that scientists should work for. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. And I think uh, one of the things we should do with this cast, in addition to what we've been doing, is like take a piece of like esoteric knowledge, mm-hmm. and make fun of it, and break it down so people can understand it. But also like have fun doing it, right? And I think that's like... Yeah. I mean, Carl Sagan is a yeah, treasure. Yeah, Carl Sagan's one of those things. Yeah. yeah. He's, he is a treasure. And, I, and I, he's missed, I think, in the COVID, right? If Carl Sagan would have done an awesome job yeah. with it. Correct. If it wasn't, if it wasn't Fauci... And it was, and it was, and it was Carl saying, yeah, it yeah. would way better. Yeah, the best yeah. is like, so my mom, so Fauci's an Italian, obviously, Italian American. Fauci. And my mom said, oh my God, Dr. Fauci, he's Italian American. I said, yeah. He's like, you got to listen to everything he says, Phil. He is a treasure. You know, like basically, as soon as she found out like he was Italian, that's, didn't matter what he could have said, like the most crazy shit. And she'd be like, oh, he's an Italian American. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, he doesn't even seem, Italian American. He doesn't. No. Yeah. He yeah. just seems like he's a, American. Yeah. yeah he's like just a, American. Like a squirrely yeah. American. Guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, he wasn't a because he's not a good charisma. Correct. Right. That's yeah. the issue. I mean, whether he's like you know highly capable at his job or whatever, I don't. I don't know. I wouldn't. But I wouldn't know because he's not delivering it very well. Yeah. Correct. I, he's almost like shut up, l- let me speak. Yeah. Yeah, he is like that, and the standard scientist. Like mentality in my mind. That's the standard scientist mentality. Right. Listen to me. I'm more educated than you. You're you know? not. Yeah. You're not hearing people out. Yeah. As much. Yeah. Listen to me. I'm more educated than you. Why can't you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think that's a really dangerous uh, place to be because that's why people distrust science because people distrust scientists because people distrust the person. It all goes back to the person, right? How, are you effectively communicating with me? Are you looking at me as as a peer? That's also sad too, because you know, as much as it is like the scientist's ability to communicate, it's also the person's interpretation of of a person, and the ability to not to not extract truth from words, you know, and everything has to be contextual. Everything has to be, you know, like the who the person is. Like, does that matter in in science and what? No, it right? shouldn't matter. But I think it matters when you're dealing with humans because like okay everything Fauci says everything I say everything you say not everything but a lot of the stuff we're talking about like okay here's an example when I said you know um, do you want to know the evolutionary reason for forget what it was you asked me a question like what why do we eat what we eat right right. that what I that sentence after I said was based upon hundreds of scientific papers Mm. right so if I say an outlandish claim like that to me it's like of course that's that's what it is but if right. someone from another planet comes here or another country doesn't have any basic understanding of science and hears me say that, it's they don't realize that I'm summating hundreds of papers. Right. Summarizing, summating. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. But like, I think that's another problem too is that within one sentence, Anthony Fauci could be summing 150 studies that people don't know about. Right. And to him, that's like, why? of course this is true. You're right. He already made the the traversal of like knowledge yeah from point a to point like d right but he's not explaining what happened to b and c right yeah not yeah and then like i don't know uh, trust is always an issue right like how do you even trust anyone at this point it's always a crapshoot it's always a role right like it, it's like trusting the idols now versus like the facts right? idols meaning like it's like the people matter more than the facts yeah. that they you know disseminate yeah, it's like it kind of makes me sick how, you know, when Kanye was going buck wild with what he was saying recently about the about Jewish people, right? Yeah. People just looked at him as Kanye West and said, well, well, of course he's telling the truth. He's Kanye West. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, how do people how do people how do people do that? But then I think to myself, aren't I doing that with Carl Sagan? Yeah. Right. Carl Sagan saying something. And I'm like, well, if Carl Sagan said it. Of course, it's true. Yeah, it, it's it, it, the sense of idols, right? It's like idolatry. Yeah of science where idolatry of, of culture and science is becoming a lesser and lesser part of it. Yeah. But there's a difference because if Carl Sagan said what Kanye said, oh, shit. I would have been like, dude, fuck Carl Sagan. Right. Yeah. But I guess, so I guess there's a, there is a difference. There is. Yeah. The, you have, uh, the, you're able to do both where there's idolatry and also, um, what the actual words are. Rationality. Or yeah. Yes. Yeah. It overrides certain things. 